Hey everybody, Villasink back again with another Raid Shadow Legends video and in this video I'm going to show some builds to champions recently that have changed or I've adjusted over time. A few builds I changed just for Doom Tower or just to either make that champion faster or just change that damage, it could be for control and so forth. So I have six champions that recently in the last few weeks that I've adjusted. And when you look at these champions, I'll show you the stats, show you the builds, and then hopefully you like them and hopefully you can potentially apply some of this pardon me, to champions that you own yourself. So first champion, just because we see him right there, I did a video on this champion, Warlord. The last void Lego I pulled, and boy was it a shock. The first one, the first void Lego to come from a, a void shard, and nobody can complain about Warlord. So my goal with building him was to get him as fast as I could, and give... I had to kind of just let go of the resistance. I was hoping to get more resistance. So speed and accuracy with some HP. Just some tanky stats. But I was limited to kind of how I was building him. I, I just wanted an immunity build. So I went with an immunity and a speed set. And he ends up at 45,000 HP. 60-90 attack. Just under 3k defense. 245 speed. Rate crit damage low, 115 resistance and 481 accuracy. And that was for Doom Tower, some arena, to mess around in dungeons. Hell, even to mess around faction wars. But mainly because eventually he will go to arena. I plan to use him in Doom Tower also. I have done maybe like 10 or 10 or so arena fights with him. And it's really cool to put people's skills on cooldown. It is such an overpowered move. And looking at the gear pieces I have in the immunity set, it's still there. The pieces are not too bad. So 18 speed, 16 accuracy, 23 accuracy, 13 speed. We have 27 accuracy, 18 speed. These gloves are terrible, but they were kind of there just to push up his defense. 20 accuracy, a bit lacking in speed at 9. Uh, the immunity chest, which was kind of a given, it was. I really didn't have accuracy chest in immunity. Not really good ones in the speed gear set either. So 9 speed, no accuracy, but it's the main stat. We do get some HP though, and with the speed boots, we get resistance, 24 accuracy, and just some flat to base HP and defense with a HP ring with HP substats HP and accuracy on the banner and that's pretty much how he ended up that is build number one <coughs> build number two let me see if I can find this champion right here is Doom Priest now Doom Priest is obviously somebody you went fast. I've messed around with this champion before. <clears throat> I remember in um, Fashion Crypts, I, slow, I, slow, I slowed her down a little bit for a shield set. And it did not work. And now that I'm past Night's Rev Faction, I no longer have to worry about it. I decided, you know what, I'm just going to pump up some resistance because she doesn't need accuracy. If she's fast, she has resistance and she's staying alive. She's going to be such a tremendous help to my team as far as Cleansing debuffs. We get the exist attack, but it's mainly just for the passive fuel and the cleansing of debuffs. And her build ended up at 50,000 HP. Just about 2k attack, 2k defense, 248 speed. Slightly slower. I was aiming for 250. Crit, crit damage not important. 376 resistance. And accuracy is 60 because she doesn't need it. So HP items along the bottom. Uh, resistance banner, we have speed, resistance, so speed, resistance again in the speed sets, as you can imagine. Speed, resistance, speed boots, 
I can glyph resistance if I wanted to boost it a bit higher. A nice resistance chest that I tried to put on the Warlord, but it would not work as far as the immunity sets. And we have HP resistance on the gloves, no speed, but the HP for Doom Priest, I'm willing to let this be kind of sit. When I get better glyphs, I can obviously adjust all of this, but because she doesn't need accuracy, she basically hits on an A1, just as attacks one enemy. A2, increased attack buff on all of your allies. As are our passive, which is heals by 7.5%. So her HP or the champion's HP of their own HP in a Moose Radom debuff. So no matter where you take her, she can be cleansing constantly. Uh, it doesn't have masters, doesn't need them. That's build number two. I want to keep her alive. I want to keep her free from debuffs. And she is just, she is so cool now. Such a fantastic champion, even without that much resistance. Even at around 200 speed or so. She's still a fantastic champion. I recommend you build Doom Priest. <coughs> so we have a rare up next that I chase around. And he used to be in full speed sets. He's been in Lifesteal before. He's been in Stalwart, he's been in like Divine Speed, he's been in you name it, like he's had stun artifacts, just he's had the one hundred percent crit rate, so he's crit heals. And uh, so Apothecary he is slightly slower, um and his HP is slightly less, but I wanted to bump up again some resistance, mainly just because he is a pretty good speed booster, he's underrated, people kind of sleep on him. They get somebody better, they really don't go back. And he still has a lot of use in Faction Wars, if he's not getting debuffed it's better. You can take him into dungeons. Doom Tower, I want to really use, use Apothecary a little bit more. I do enjoy his kit, he is a champion that obviously helped me in my early game progress tremendously. So I have to give him a little bit of love for that, I'm not going to show him any hatred or anything. So I changed him up, 35k HP which is low, 2.5k defense, but I believe that's because one of either the gloves or the chest is defense, but that could be changed depending, 200 speed, so still at 200, so I'm at the level of where I'm not going to go any lower, and he has 300 resistance just to save any debuffs, any decreased defences or any stuns or any decreased speed. I want him to continually be healing people, giving us a turn meter boost, increased speed, uh, and just basically being a fantastic support champion. So we'll take a look at kind of what I gave him. So we have resistance, a really terrible weapon, but it's in the resistance set. Resistance a bit of crit rate because it doesn't necessarily hurt although we didn't have much and a bit of attack again doesn't really help but it's in the resistance set and I was trying to add resistance we have a bit of speed because it was the helm I had at the time speed resistance on there defense is always fantastic speed uh, defensive gloves that's why his HP is slightly lower and HP if I get a resistance wall at the bottom, that gloves will be fantastic. I have a resistance chest plate. The substats I cannot help because resistance chest plates I'm kind of limited just due to the fact that it is a resistance chest plate. And he has just some HP on it and some crit damage. Really the substats are terrible but <clears throat> it was just the resistance I needed to build up. And I get the boost of 40 from having that two items. So it boosts him up a tremendous amount. And he can go up an extra 16 speed when I max the boots. Which gives him 34 resistance. Substats, defense attack, don't matter. Uh, it's an okay boot. I'll level it at some point. So he'll be 216 speed. But he does what he needs to do. HP along the bottom, I believe he's got a HP banner as well. It could be resistance. But for just now, 300 resistance. He's going to 216 speed. 
you'll get more HP from the Speed Helm, which could obviously be chased at some point, but I have used used a monster twice. I want to use him a little bit more, but I definitely needed to build a bit of resistance on him just to make sure that he's supporting me how I want to be supported as far as keeping the team going fast, keeping us healed, giving us increased speed and just helping us work our cooldowns quicker and helping us get our turns quicker. So who's next on the list? A cult brawler. A cult brawler for clan boss. So a cult brawler got changed. He got changed. He's still still got like 47 47,000 HP. 3.2k attack, 115 speed. He can be between 11, 111, 118. Full crit rate, 267 crit damage. He has the accuracy required. And he hits like a mofo. He hits really hard. Auto Nightmare. Or Nightmare or Brutal. He hits like a... Just a mother effer. He's so tough. So the only thing it changed him is he lost 3 speed on his Auto Nightmare build and he lost 6 from his Nightmare build. Sounds weird but we'll explain soon. And with him all I had to change was a few items. After I changed a few items, I went back and ended up changing pretty much everything. So high crit rate there, crit rate, crit damage, basically damage stats. We don't need speed, he is the slow boy for the clan boss team. So as long as he's packing damage, I can glyph up some of this at some point to squeeze out some more. We have attack along the bottom, crit damage, and we have an accuracy banner, which I believe has like 18 speed on it. 12 speed, 14% attack. I can glyph that flat attack if I really wanted to. But accuracy 96, 239. That is the slow boy. He got changed. His stats are slightly better. For a nightmare, he goes to 95% crit rate and 253% crit damage. And he goes to 1 to 1 speed. That's really the only change there. Uh, we have a few other people not at 60 though, I used, and it was for just some facts and worse progression. We'll quickly show them off too. I took Seneschal and I gave him some accuracy. And it was really just to fill out the team to get that fifth person. Not necessarily to get the three stars, just to get the level done. Or the stage done, so 30, 40k HP, 2.3k defense, he's slow, 154 209 accuracy, but again, level 50, and with the lifesteal stuff, all we looked for, speed, accuracy, we've got defense, some HP, defense, speed, accuracy, HP gloves, again, accuracy, perception chest with accuracy and some speed, and those boots will make him faster once they go to 40, so he's not going to be 156 or 153 forever. He'll end up around 180 speed. And that's basically just because he has a provoke. And it kind of helps control the waves a little bit. I'm not sure why I, I exited there. Because we have one more champion. And it is a demon spawn champion who I will do another video when I get him to level 60. But I put him to 50 earlier. I sended him as far as I could get him to. Put him in a regen set. I broke Drath and I broke Burangiri, but I don't care, so I don't use them. Really like this guy, I want to use him as much as I can. Doesn't have a ring on, but he does have some pretty decent stats for a 50. 4k HP, 1500 defense, 185 speed, 111 resistance. It's just the HP, the tankiness, and the speed at the moment. I will add resistance as I go, I think, just to make sure he survives a little bit longer but again this was just to fill out the demon spawn team uh, to make sure i can survive if i lose anybody he's there just to revive at the moment so hp and speed on the weapon resistance speed accuracy on the helm defense speed hp hp glove resistance speed defense hp again defense crit rate attacks not really important but we can change that if we need to 
level 16 speed boots, 15% HP, some resistance, again, it can't be glyphed, no ring. As for his revive, that's all I need it for. He has a stun, which I think lands occasionally. But he has helped me progress a couple of stages, just that one star. I think fantastic, but if I lose Magnar or Drex or if I lose Akoth, he is there to pick him up. And that's pretty much what I've been up to as far as champion builds. There is others, but they're kind of still in the works. So down below, tell me what builds you've been working on, what champions you've been using, what sets you've been using as of late, if you've tried anything new. And as always guys, stay safe, keep on raiding, and I'll see you in the next one.